Alright, welcome back to Oblivion. Um, this time, I have to go back to that tree in Shagoras Palace. So I can uh, use that. And turn myself into Shagorath. That was weird, the sky just changed. <coughs> uh, by, by the way, if you're wondering why my voice sounds weird, it's because I have like a really, really nasty cold. So. <coughs> okay. So I have to dip the staff in this. Font is covered with order crystals. Hmm. Let's ask Haskell if he can help. Ah, you're back. You may have noticed that we have a, a bit of a problem. Indeed. The font is being ordered. As goes the font of madness, so goes the realm. Soon we will all be serving a new master. Yes, his agents must have found a way to poison the font with order. Once the source of madness becomes the font of order, Jigalag is won. Somehow, the forces of order have poisoned the pools of mania and dementia that feed the tree. I suspect the traitor Sill. Jigalag has never had an original thought in his existence. Be that as it may, you will have to enter the fountainhead beneath the tree and find the source of the poison. Sheogorath's private sanctuary, where he would often meditate amidst the tame gnarls that tend the roots. Normally, the fountainhead is a peaceful sanctuary, but there's no telling what changes the taint of order may have wrought. Now I fear that the gnarls themselves may be accelerating the spread of order throughout the tree's roots. Be careful. If only we could speak more of. Alright, so... Going to the back door into the tree. <coughs> yeah, I think you need like a, a heart of order to open that. Crystals prevent you from opening the store, okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait a minute, what happened? What's this? Okay, so the gnarls can open the doors. I think. Just have to follow the gnarls. Maybe that's the only door. We'll, we'll see. Ooh, that's a nice ring. <coughs> I think I might use that. Uh, 
Mecha is pretty weak. Okay, so I guess everything's cleansed now. Let me check my journal. I've cleansed one of the minor pools. Okay, I must find the pools of mania and dementia in order to save the tree. Isn't that exact, the exact same helmet that I have? It is! Look at that! What are the odds of that? That's amazing. Alright. I'm not really sure what the Shards of Order do. I think I might need to use them for something. <coughs> Whoa, look at that. What's with all these really high level loot? It's crazy. See, what, what kind of ring am I wearing right now? I'm wearing um, Ring of Aegis. That's not that great. And what other ring? Oh, I guess it's well the mundane ring, okay there we go. Yeah. See I'm gonna stop wearing that. And I'm gonna put this on. Oh man. My attributes are through the roof. I'm gonna save. Just wanna make sure I don't lose that. Oh crap, why did I hit that gnarl? Shouldn't have done that. He didn't really pose a threat to me. Right, this guy on the other hand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you can use shards of order to get through these doors. combat is getting increasingly tedious because my character is just so strong at this point that um, anything I fight just rarely ever take uh, poses a threat. Okay. 
I'll take that shard. So that was the pool of uh, dementia, I guess. <coughs> I just need to go cleanse the other one. And everything will be good. Soul trap that. Dang it. Ooh. I probably won't use that. I want to keep both of the rings that I'm wearing. So what's strange is that <coughs> when I get a cold, my voice drops by like two octaves. <laughs> so it kind of makes it harder to be heard, but like, if I were singing in like a choir, I would, I would probably be a really amazing bass right now. My throat is just so inflamed right now. <clears throat> and it just makes it everything lower. What crystals are you talking about? <clears throat> and I'm, uh, this is probably this is pretty off topic. I'm not really talking about the game, but there's not really much to talk about. I'm just kind of going through corridors, killing these things. It's all very repetitive at this point. Oh. my soul gem again, because I'm an idiot. Let's see, how high is my armor skill? It's at 82. <coughs> What's really nice is once you get it up to 100, then you never have to buy new repair hammers ever again.
Shards. Yeah, I guess I am out of shards. Oh well. Ah! Probably missing out on some treasure, but probably doesn't matter. I mean, the the items that I have are so good. There's really not much you can do to improve. Getting staggered. done to you. The means justify the ends, is that it? Then you will appreciate my new master's methods. Jigalag is coming. He cannot be stopped. He will rule this land and all our delusions will be stripped away. None too soon. We have lived too long as the playthings of the Mad God. <coughs> well, she wasn't very hard to kill. So this is a unique weapon. I'm not really skilled with it, and it's rather heavy, so I'm just going to leave it here. The funny thing is that she, you can kind of understand her viewpoint. I mean, Shere Gorath, he really, he really did make me murder uh, Thaden, and he is kind of a jerk to us. So she was just trying to revolt against uh, his tyranny. But, you know, we have to side with Shea Gorath because we don't have a choice. We all like Shea Gorath anyway. We like his parties where he gives cheese to everyone. Got the complete staff of Sheogorath. Voice of Sheogorath. I forget what that does. One of your military minions was looking for you. It sounded urgent, but I'm afraid I don't know the details. The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal <laughs> to this realm. 
They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights into the obelisk itself. Each heart will increase the power of the obelisk until it eventually overloads and shuts down, closing the portal. Enlightening. My lord, our Mazel Zuda sent me to find you. She requests your immediate assistance. I don't know, my lord. She only said it was a matter of the gravest import to the security of the realm. <clears throat> my lord, I'm glad to see you. We have a developing situation that requires your attention. Order. An obelisk has activated just outside the palace. I've ordered my Orioles to engage the enemy. I expect that this is the beginning of the final assault. The cursed usurper Jigalag himself may even take the field before the end. What are your orders, my lord? I will lead the attack. It will be our great honor to fight by your side, my lord. <clears throat> you know, I just thought of something. I wonder if I can do a, a dark elf impression with this voice that I have right now. <coughs> Outlander, what do you want? For the Mad God. Filthy sweat. <coughs> I guess that kind of works. I wonder if Jeff Baker recorded all the Dark Elf lines when he had a cold. I'd like to think he did. Because that would be funny. one down. Okay, one heart. And two hearts. And three hearts. as it always does. Order shall reign. Another of Sheogorov's foolish schemes. Your staff does not make you a dangerous foolish mortal. <laughs> he couldn't even hit me. Transformed back into that gibbering fool, Sheogorov. It was not always so. 
Once I ruled this realm, a world of perfect order. My dominion expanded across the seas of oblivion with each passing error. The other princes, fearful of my power, cursed me with madness, doomed me to live as Sheogorath, a broken soul reigning in a broken land. Once each era, I was allowed my true form, conquering this world anew. And each time I did, the curse was renewed, damning me to exist as Sheogorath. Now, though, you have ended the cycle. You now hold the mantle of madness, and Jigalag is free to roam the voids of oblivion once more. I will take my leave, and you will remain here, mortal. Mortal? King? God? It seems uncertain. This realm is yours. Perhaps you will grow to your station. Fare thee well, Sheogorath, Prince of Madness. Okay, so now I am Sheogorath. <laughs> Let's see. What else can I do? High school will likely want uh, uh, okay. That was a really anticlimactic final boss battle, wasn't it? What? Always a You've done it! Well done, Lord Sheogorath. I never doubted you for a moment. Now, of course, there is business to attend to. As you have assumed the mantle of Sheogorath, there are matters that deserve your attention. As lord of this realm, there are a number of benefits to which you are entitled, as well as a number of duties to which you must attend. You may request any of the Golden Saint or Dark Seducer escorts at the castle to accompany you. They will defend you to the death. You may also summon entertainment to your throne room. Your predecessor found this most invigorating. Speak with me if you wish entertainment. You also have the ability to affect the weather in your realm. As it is an extension of yourself, it will often have an effect on you as well. You also have the benefit of Sheogorath's protection. Cast this upon yourself, and if your life is threatened, you will be returned to your castle. Many of these abilities, Lord, are rooted in the magics of the Isles. Should you choose to leave this realm, they will not likely function. You wish entertainment, my lord? Of course, sire. Yes. Your first duty is to attend to the needs of your subjects. You will find that there are constant threats to the residents of the Isles. Your job is to protect them, either by dealing with the matter yourself, or sending your armies to take care of it for you. It seems all is peaceful in the Shivering Isles, my lord. Will wonders never cease? A glorious existence, truly. Okay, so now I've got some godlike powers that I can use. Let's see, manipulate weather. Summon Dark Seducer, summon Flesh Azure. I think you can only do it like once a day, though. Because, well, yeah, it's a greater power, so. So that's a teleport. Alright, let's go control the weather. Uh, okay. You can't really choose which kind of weather you want, it just kind of changes it to whatever. Um. Let's 
so let's see what let's see what the staff does. I don't remember what the staff does. I stand ready, Lord. Your humble servant, my lord. I don't think that did anything. Let's see if I go cast it on a peasant, if that will do anything. At your command, Lord Sheogorath. <coughs> Hello. Don't mind me. I'm a little tired. Can't sleep at home, you know. The walls, they aren't safe. Don't you know? You don't, do you? Well, it's lucky you met me. Here, you've been walking around as if nothing could happen. Oh, there's an idea. Why didn't I think of that? But where would I sleep? I need some place to sleep. I've seen some people sleeping out on the street, but they huddle too close to the walls. I need some place safe. I can't just sleep anywhere. There are walls and statues and all sorts of things that can fall on me. Can't have that. Nope. But if you find me a good place to sleep, a safe place outside, I'll reward you. All right, whatever. Bye. I'm not going to do that quest. So. All right. So that's the main quest of the Shivering Isles. I don't really know what this staff does. Maybe somebody in the comments will know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm Shere Gorath now. And I can do uh, this as many times as I want to. Except that it's not working. Uh, okay. Yes. At your command, Lord Shaper. I have to be outside town. Yes, that is not working. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's been. The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. It's been a little over a year. It's taken me a long time to finish this. Um, so now I think I'll move on to another game. Probably Skyrim, but um, I want to do something in between this and Skyrim. Probably just like a quick thing. <coughs> so, I guess I will. Um, We'll see. A few days I'll uh, have something else uploaded. Until then, this is Numidium3 signing off.